Neil, we're two one one here at Walsall. Three out of three in the Checker Trade group stages and a bit of money in the bank. You must be delighted with that. I am really pleased because you know the players have shown a really good attitude tonight. Um, I think when you have the game on on Sunday, you obviously you have players who are disappointed that they've not played in that. So you can look at the next game as not being as important, but. All the games are important, and um, I thought the players had a really good attitude tonight. From you know, from our experienced players to lads who played on on, on Sunday, and um, like I say, I'm delighted with the result. Impressed with the attitude of Theo Vassell. He came off after half an hour on Sunday. He's bounced back really well tonight, and I think we all agree he had a solid game tonight. I think Theo needed a game because it's it's disappointing when you get taken off. But um, like I say, we we switched from a. Um, the three at the back with wing backs to a back four so if you're going to make that decision you've got to take off one of the one of the back players and I explained that to Theo but um, he's played tonight in his what I'd say is his strongest position and I thought he had a really good game and overall a, a good performance from everyone tonight it was it was um, I'd say first half I thought we played some really good football and um, like I say um, deservedly went in front could have scored a couple more got pegged back, but uh, I think we deserved the win overall. That first goal, it was good link-up play from some of the players who haven't really you know, had an opportunity so far. Idris Cannon putting in a great ball for Quigley, who really buried that header really well. It was a really good goal, yeah, a lovely cross, some good play down the right-hand side. And um, I'm pleased for, for Scott, because he's, um, I, I thought in the first half, especially tonight, he was a real handful, and um, that'll give him a lot of confidence. Nelson a go coming on 15 years old making history a credit to the Port Vale Academy for producing you know these these future prospects so you've got the likes of Nathan Smith James Gibbons and, and you've given Nelson a chance tonight well I, I just think it's um, it, it, it's a chance for to, to play a young lad which would um, it, give some some hope to other players who are young and who are coming through I think uh, I recognise that uh, our academy's got a difficult job because they've no matter how much you know, people will uh, you know support Port Vale and who love Port Vale, there's a lot of competition for young players. And, and a young player with with dreams of playing, he, he's going to get attracted to to play at other clubs. So it's very hard, I think, for for Port Vale to attract the you know the the, the best young players. And um, if you haven't got the tools to work with, it's very hard for for our club to bring players through. But but it shows tonight that. Um, you know, we were always willing to, to look at um, younger players and um, I say if, if in the future we can produce our own players, great. But I wouldn't put pressure on the, on the academy to, to, to bring players through because it's very difficult to, to, with all the competition from other clubs. But, but it's a, a step in the right direction tonight. Not a bad bit of experience to have behind Nelson as well with Danny Pugh. There. Was was Nelson even born when Danny Pugh made his debut? Do we know? Uh, do have to do the maths. No, no, no. He wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, no way was he. But um, like I say, we got the the th the one thing I will say about um, our club is that we've got older pros at the club whose uh, attitude is spot on. We've got uh, obviously we spoke about them in the past, but tonight we had. Um, Anthony Kay, Danny Pugh and obviously Louis Dodds who all worked exceptionally hard and they've obviously had much bigger games in their career but their attitude is spot on and um, if you are a young player you will get help because that's the type of players we have at the club. You mentioned earlier that Nelson had a bit of training with, with the team as well. Were the likes of Casey, Pugh, Dodsey sort of putting their shoulder around him, giving him a, a bit of advice coming into this one. We saw when Nelson came on, it was Lewis Harcastle as well, giving him a bit of a pep talk. I, ju I just think you have to, uh, you know, you, the lads at school, I mean, you, you've got to try and help him and you've got to try and give him some direction. Um, you don't expect him to come on and, and um, you know, be a world beater tonight. It's just about really giving him some experience and uh, it shows that um, we want to, encourage young players at the club and that will send a message to everybody else. Christian Montano at left back today, it must be a good feeling to see him sort of getting the minutes under his belt after that lengthy spell on the sidelines as well. Well Christian, he's had problems with injuries and uh, every game he plays and every time he gets minutes under his belt, what it does is it just, it, it shows, it proves to him in his own mind 
that he's physically strong enough to play. And if you get a fully fit Christian, confident Christian, then obviously he's an asset. And um, I'm pleased that he's got through 90 minutes tonight. You must be delighted with the way the past few weeks have gone by. You're five unbeaten in the league. You progressed through to the knockout stage of the Checker trade. Unfortunate at the weekend against Sunderland, but some real positives to come out of that one. Going into Mansfield, you know, good signs, positivity around the club. I, I, I think it's it's obviously been a you know a better a better spell for us, but we know how quickly it changes in football. Um, so I think you've always got to be conscious of that. But the bigger picture is that um, we have to. Keep trying to improve the team, try to improve the squad. We haven't got to get carried away if we get a decent result, and if we get a bad result, we've got we we haven't got to, you know, get too um, downbeat about it as well. We've got to try and remain positive. But um, at the moment, the players are are working hard. There's a good, uh, you know, spirit in the camp. But we're faced with some difficult games, and at times you come up against teams, you know, that are, are difficult to get the better of. And, and I think on Saturday, that's going to be a big test at Mansfield because they're one of the teams I rate. But we're going into it in a good frame of mind. And um, as I say, we, we've got to go there and give a good account of ourselves. But we must play at our best.